Hello, what's up guys? Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can handle the video buffering issue on your Amazon Fire TV stick, okay? This tutorial is especially for Amazon Fire TV stick at this moment of time. But if you wanted to change it for Amazon Fire TV box, that's very easy as well. So few factors which we need to remember before we start this tutorial that Amazon Fire TV stick only contains 1 GB of RAM actually. So you need to make sure you utilize it properly else you're going to have a problem, okay? And a few more things. And you have to remember that the, the buffering issue is not only to do with the RAM always. That depends upon the network as well. If you're connected on Wi-Fi, which are the most of the time we are, because Amazon Fire TV Stick has only got that feature. So it's a dual band. It's got a 2.4 gigahertz and also the 5 gigahertz as well. So it's all dependent upon the, the speed as well, length and speed, all these things, factors, factor do matter. So what we're going to do now, oh, let's launch our Kodi. The Kodi is launched now. So we're going to install a program which is called Easy Advanced Settings, okay? So for that, we need to enter the source actually. It's easier to have a source to where you can, from here you can download it and you can configure it nicely. So go to the system and into the file manager and enter this source which is going to the app source. This source is a very useful source which I found actually. But what will happen, I'm sure the author will be keep on updating it as well. It's just a newly started, I just googled it, I just found it, which is called http colon double slash repo dot hack my cody dot com. All right. So you need to enter this URL and press the done. All right. Scroll down to the bottom and give him a name. My cody. All right. That will do the jobby. So press OK. Once the source has been added, get out of that one. Go to the system and to the settings again. Into the settings. Scroll down to the add-on. Into the add-on, scroll down to the install from the zip file. All right, while you're in the zip file, you need to select the source which we entered, which is a hack my Kodi. Okay, open up, scroll down to the program add-ons. Into the program add-ons, you will get two folders. You need to go into the system settings. Okay, open up the system setting and you will get this plugin dot program add-ons program file which is the advanced settings zip files, okay? What we need to do is to install this one. Once you click it, it will install on your Kodi and the notification would arrive in the bottom right-hand corner, which you just did. Okay. What we're going to do now, we need to come out of this all and scroll down to the program. Into the programs, we need to go again into the program add-ons and we'll find this easy advanced settings program add-on. So let's open up first time. This is how it's going to look like. So first things first, what we need to do, we need to go into the added settings, guys. You need to concentrate over the tutorial. The reason is because it don't display you what changes you made, actually. So you have to, you know, I'll show you how you can see them changes, okay? So you go into the added settings. Into the added settings, scroll down, go to the network settings, okay? into the network setting again you have to go into the networks all right now you need to change these three bottom figures actually which is a cache memory buffer size second one is a buffer mode third one is a read buffer factor okay cache memory is depending on the ram so you got to tell him what size how, how much cache you wanted to use in the ram okay for the amazon fire tv stick guys i will stick to 150 mb of cache memory especially for the videos to save it away okay for that you need to enter this value which i'm going to give you now but this value can be changed you know it's not like it's hard and fast rule it has to be that one so you need to enter this value which is one five seven two eight six four double zero I will be also putting these values into the video description and what are the reasons behind them as well. So this, this value will give you about 150 MB of cache memory, but it will use, it will use around, uh, it will use around 300, uh, it will use around 400 MB RAM as well at the same time. So you have to be careful, you choose a nice value, nice value. So press OK in there. When this value is done, it's still showing you, going to show you this red, red buffer size. Do not worry about it. Scroll down to the buffer mode and you need to put the buffer mode to 1. All right. And scroll down to the read buffer factor. Open that one up and you need to enter the value which would be 20. 
all right Tony these values if you wanted to understand what these value mean I'll be putting a, I'll be putting a link in the video description which is to, towards a wiki which is for the Kodi official Kodi okay official Kodi information that's how you're gonna you can understand what's happening with them once you enter these all values you need to get out all okay get out of here in here what you need to do you need to scroll down to the bottom where it says list enabled settings open up if you see all these changes right there in green color that means the changes are there now okay go back and you need to press this button write XML file when you press that button what will happen it will create an XML file which is advanced setting XML file onto your user data folder in your Kodi as well so at this moment of time it's all set up and everything is up and running guys so simple is that okay now file XML file is created now if you close this one and go back to it again you should be able to see this you should be able to see view active XML advanced setting file okay so let's open up this one you will see this is a file been created for you especially working in perfect order guys so this is all done now okay it's all working now in the Kodi obviously you'll be able to find the difference in terms of running and everything so that will be it guys so simple as that and let me know how do you find this video tutorial was it informative for you guys or not please do write in the comments below I'll be glad to answer any of your queries if you got it regarding this video add-on or video or you finding any difficulties to understand it so thank you very much for watching this video and I hope I'll see you again in next videos guys see you then guys have a nice weekend and life ahead bye bye